shoot up here, depolarized at minus 40 millivolts. Take the cyclic GMP out of the mix because that enzyme is chewing it up. What happens? The channel's going to close. And if the channel closes, sodium and calcium can't come in anymore. And we hyperpolarize the photoreceptor. That's part one of the story. Take this slide, we're going to skip one, and then we're going to put it into this slide. Um, this is the next part. Put stars by this one. We're going to talk about what's the consequence. If I have cis retinol, I have high levels of cyclic GMP, I have the sodium and calcium coming in, in the dark, this is what happens. That photoreceptor rod is constantly, I mean, if I'm minus 40, I'm well above threshold, it's constantly releasing neurotransmitter, and the neurotransmitter it releases is inhibitory in nature and shuts down and inhibits the bipolar cell that it synapses with. The bipolar cell is kept quiet. It's not able to release any neurotransmitter onto the ganglion cell. The ganglion cell doesn't send any action potentials in. That's what happens in the dark, this setup. So for you to see... What has to happen? I got to hyperpolarize the photoreceptor by bonking cis to trans. It falls off. G proteins activate PDE. It reduces cyclic GMP levels. All of that's right here in number one. Cyclic GMP gated ion channels close. The photoreceptor hyperpolarizes to minus 70 millivolts, which turns him off. He's back to what we would call rest, right? He's off. He's not releasing inhibitory neurotransmitter anymore. Immediately, the bipolar cell starts shooting off action potentials, dumping its excitatory neurotransmitter onto the ganglionic cell, and the ganglion cell fires a train of action potentials through the optic nerve wire into your occipital cortex, and boop, there's vision. You see because you hyperpolarize the photoreceptor and remove its inhibition on the bipolar cell. That's weird. It's kind of backwards, but that's the reality of your sense of vision. Does that make your head spin? So this is important. All of this stuff in line item number one is contained in this one through five image because this is how we get cyclic GMP levels to fall. So this coupled with this is the sequence of events that you're going to be accountable for because the question is, put the correct chronological sequence of these events so that you can see. So there you have it. It's very detailed. might be having your head spin, but it's not impossible. It's just going to take a little practice. Here they are side by side for comparison. Maybe this one is one you want. If you do, come see me. I'll print it for you. For vision, to do phototransduction and see, we have to hyperpolarize the photoreceptor so that we turn this inhibition off so that the bipolar cell can fire on his own and activate the ganglion cell who sends the action <coughs> potential trail in and we get an image. Close your eyes, you're back to this. Depolarized photoreceptors and releasing the inhibitory neurotransmitter and keeping the bipolar cell off. So we see by removing inhibition. Yay!